بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. The highlight of last year's Hajj trip for me was when we were in Medina Munawwara, and I was blessed to be introduced to a man who frequented the road of Sharifa. That those that are known as the Mujawirin, those who are spending a lot of time there regularly. That as neighbors, quote unquote, sitting near the Prophet Sallallahu in his roda on a daily basis, know this person. That even the guards who protect the roda Sharifa know this person. And he was someone that would come in and out. He would constantly be in the service of people. He was known to take care of a lot of the people of Medina and Munawwara. And when I was introduced to him, I was told that I he would help me get into the roda. That after Asr, now keep in mind this is Hajj time, and this is a time where it's extremely busy, and so I was thinking in my mind, how is this going to happen when it takes so long to get into the Rodah Sharifa? And so anyhow, that I was texting uh, my friend back and forth, who was had put me in touch with this individual, and I entered into the mosque of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I was a little bit late, so it was kind of late Asr. I was told to come a little bit earlier. But anyhow, I made my way close to where Ahl al-Sufa is, and um, that from that point, that it, the Rolda had had pretty much been closed off from the rear. And I texted my friend, say, "Hey, I'm where Ahl al-Sufa is," and I didn't know how I was going to get in to the actual Rolda because it was just too crowded to actually get there. So this individual who he introduced me to then sees me. We make eye contact in some type of. Indication that okay, this is the one who's coming, and he points at me and tells me to walk up on the raised platform where only the guards actually are supposed to be standing. And at first, I'm like, oh, this is probably not something that I should do. If they see me doing this, I'm going to get in trouble. And at the same time, I was like, well, this person is pretty emphatic that this is where I need to walk. So I walk up where only the guards are supposed to be, and I walk towards the roda. And um, alhamdulillah, no one ended up seeing me. I get very close to him, and then he takes me uh, right into the roda Sharifa, where you're now on the green carpet in this blessed place about which our Prophet sallallahu spoke and gave glad tidings of. And eventually, he sits me in the place where they say is that you are as close as you can be to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And specifically, that his blessed head, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And so, for me, this was just an amazing experience. That at a time where you might think that, subhanallah, there's no way that I can get close. And then you have these moments of divine favor, and the outpour of this divine favor upon you, despite your own self, despite the way we know that we act, despite the mistakes that we know we make, is that Allah Taala wa Taala shows you this ihsan. And to permit you to come into these sacred lands, and to give you an experience like this, where now not only you're in the road of Sharifa, you're in the closest place of all to the Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam. When you experience these types of things, it makes you love Allah, because you realize is that He continues to show you ihsan, He continues to shower His mercy upon you, and this is the hope that Allah subhanahu wa taala will bestow His mercy upon us in this world and the next. And that hopefully, that every time we travel to these sacred lands, we will have blessed experiences like this. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala give us tawfiq, barakallahu fiqum, wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.